I saw on my watch page recently that a ton of YouTubers were doing everyday carry videos and I thought, well, I just got given a new backpack from Google, so why don't I do an everyday carry video of what I bring to work every single day as a Google employee? Okay, let's take a look inside my bag. So, we will start from the big pocket on the inside. There it is, I open this up. So, there is an absolute ton of stuff in here. So, we can open the bag up like this for now. So, first up, we have the trusty DJI Pocket 2. And what this is for is when I'm vlogging and I'm going out and about, if I'm wanting to film something or vlog something for a future video, I've got my DJI Pocket 2 with me at all times. By the way, I'll put descriptions and links for any of the products that you can buy in the description below, so check them out if you want to buy anything in here. Okay, we next have <laughs> my gym shorts. Um, so you can tell this is uh, from my bag today because I went to the gym. So I always take my gym shorts and like a top like this, just like a gym top, so that if I'm gonna do a workout in the office, the office has a gym, um, and some of the office has a swimming pool. If I'm gonna do a workout in the office, then I've got fresh gym clothes that I can change. And the office also has showers as well, so I don't need to worry about bringing a towel or anything like that. Um, okay, that's the clothes out of the way. I have a ton of electronics in here. So, let me see if I do this, you'll be able to see <laughs> how things are not so neatly organized. Um, but we have Nintendo Switch, super, super handy for when I'm on the go. This is perfect for going on the tube, like the London Underground. I work in London and so, on the way in, I always sleep, I always have a nap on the way into the tube every morning, but on the way back, I have my Nintendo Switch, and I'm currently waiting for a really exciting new game called Two Point Campus to come out. Um, so, I have the Switch. I also have, uh, so I have just a general adapter for things like HDMI and USBs. My um, Macs are all USB-C, so USB-C all the things, love that, but sadly, Things like HDMI cables, you still need them. Uh, one of the best purchases I've ever made, this little power bank. So this is like an anchor power bank. It's 10,000 milliamp hours, which is like a ton. Charged my phone like three or four times. It's like the size of my hand. So super convenient to just put in my pocket or chuck in my bag here. Um, so really like the way like this. Then I have one of these. And I think that, honestly, this is the best tech purchase I've ever made in my life. Uh, and uh, this tech purchase is really, really good and it's really innovative because it's basically one cable for every device that I own. So if I want micro USB, it's got that. If I want lightning, then all I literally do is just put the micro USB cable into there and then I've got lightning. If I want a USB-C cable, I put the micro USB cable into the USB C slot, boom. So this is like a three in one charging cable. Super, super useful. Like find that like incredibly useful and I can just plug this into that anchor portable charger and boom, I can recharge any device what I've got with me. The only downside is it doesn't do data transfer so it is literally just for charging. Um, we then got my YouTube badge, so this is my Google badge, just so I can actually get into the office, um, and my, my pass. Uh, oh, also, this is a cable that actually comes with the Anchor power bank, so I didn't realise this till the other day, but the cable that was in the box is actually really handy because it is a USB C to C cable, so you can probably tell I have a bit of a love for multi-use cables, so it's USB C to C, but it also has this kind of weird like USB-A thing here, which means if, for example, I want to charge USB-C to C, I can put that into my anchor, port, anchor charger. But if I'm already using the USB-C port on here, like if this is already in use by like a different device, like I'm charging USB-C to C, I can still charge another device with this if for some reason I don't have my 3-in-1 cable. And so it's multi-purpose, it does USB-A, to C and USB C to C. So I love that. Always good to have power on the go. Anchor's the only like power company that honestly I would like recommend or buy and, and use myself. Um, and this is just like a little pouch that it comes in. Um, 
Cool, so I kind of tend to use these little pocket things in the bag, but it doesn't always work out. So we'll continue on the theme of electronics. So this plug, I said that that 3-in-1 charger was the best purchase I've ever made. I think actually this is the best tech purchase I've ever made, to be honest. Okay, so let me take you through it because I think this is worthwhile. So this plug charges every single device I own. And obviously, you know, it needs cables and things like this but it charges every device that I own in basically any country that I've ever traveled to. So this is what it has. If you wanna put in just any kind of normal plug, plug to charge your hair dryer, for example, you can put the plug through on here. So UK, US, European, you can put a plug into this. And it then has an adapter. So you can do UK, you can do US, no, that's European, and then you can do US. So you can pass through basically anything you want into it, and then anything you want out of it. Super, super handy. And then, so you can obviously charge anything with the plug on here, just like plug it in here, and then you can charge anything on here. It then has two USB-C ports, so you can see I'm already using both of these USB-C ports. Um, what do I have on here currently at the moment? I have. Uh, USB-C to C and a USB-C to A. I think they're just the Apple cables. And I also have Apple Watch, because unfortunately this uses its own charger, um, and another USB-A lightning cable. So you have pass-through plug, you have two USB-C chargers, and you have three USB-A chargers. This is honestly amazing. So I literally, if I'm going traveling, I just take this, and I might add like one other cable in here, and I literally just take this, wrap it, generally I just wrap up the cables like this so it's a little bit more compact, and then I literally just take this traveling with me, and that is honestly all you need. Super, super good purchase that. Um, I then have Google water bottle. Don't you mean a bottle of water? Gotta stay hydrated. So I have this with me, yeah, pretty much all the time. Um, I think Google gave it to me at one point, so I have this all the time. Have a little bit of water now. Yep, it's uh, just boring old water, but does the job. So I have this water bottle, super handy. I then have uh, AirPods in here, which just have been thrown loosely into the bag. So these are the AirPods Pro. Maybe if Apple bring out some new AirPods Pro this year, I may upgrade, but to be honest, I don't really see a need. The case also wirelessly charges, which is super handy. Um, so I have that. Anything else in here? Nope. Um, oh yeah, you also see there is an air tag buried in the bottom. Um, so basically, if you don't have air tags and you are an Apple user, if you have an iPhone, highly recommend these. This is basically just usually just squashed in the bottom of my bag. Um, and basically it means that I could track down the bag if it gets stolen or someone runs off with it or Maybe I can't find it. I have like an air tag now on pretty much everything that I'm losing. So <laughs> for me, there's quite a lot of things. I'd probably like stick them to the AirPods case if I could and just like stick it to this. I actually know a friend, my friend Jack actually does do that um, because the AirPods case unfortunately does not have like an air tag uh, or like the Find My technology built into it. It kind of does, but it doesn't work very well. So yeah, air tags, really good. And then I just literally have my surname ingrained in the actual air tag. So if someone finds this and they don't have an iPhone or whatever reason, and I've lost my bag, then I can literally go up to a place and be like, oh, you know, I've lost my bag. Um, and they might say, oh yeah, we found the bag, but does it have like an identifying thing in it? Well, if I say it's got an air tag in it and it's got Kerr written on it, which is my name and then show like my driving license or whatever, then it has that. What else do we have in here? We also have my Kindle. So super handy for things on the go. What's it recommending? It's recommending a book called The Millionaire Fast Lane, How to Crack the Code to Wealth and Live Rich for a Lifetime. So uh, yeah, that sounds like a pretty good read to me. I uh, think I need to crack the code to wealth and live rich for a lifetime. I think uh, yeah, any of us would, <laughs> would uh, definitely like that book for sure. So maybe give that a read. Um, so what else do we have? We have, so yeah, these, I tend to put them by water bottle here and then the plug in this one. Um, then we'll cover the actual features of the bag in a second because it has some kind of cool, unique features. Um, in the top here, so I just basically sandwich at the top of this, this uh, with 
like sticky notes and like oh yeah look even a google pen uh, so it's always handy to have a sharpie it's always handy to have sticky notes there's tons of times where i'm on the go maybe or in the office or just wanted to do like some brainstorming always handy to have some sticky notes so definitely a good addition anything else we've got in here nope and oh yes so <laughs> it's always a risk that i never have uh like headphones with me so i'm never sure if i have like airpods with me or beats like headphones so i recently got these headphones and so what these are are the beats fit pro headphones um and unfortunately the case doesn't charge wirelessly but i have airpods pro and recently got these and the only reason i have these is the airpods pro fall out whenever i go running so i have a triathlon coming up that i've been training for and these beats fit pros are super useful and to be honest there's just times where like for example for some reason today like I don't have my Bose QC45 headphones. They are really, really good headphones. Definitely recommend them. Um, I usually like wear them around my neck, to be honest. So that might be why they're not here, or I don't know, they're somewhere else in the house. Um, but yeah, if you want really good headphones, noise cancelling, Bose QC45s, they're my go-to. But for the earphones, generally, is if I don't have the Bose headphones, but I've got either the Beats or I've got the AirPods, then we're in a good place. Cool, so in this big compartment here, we then have two things. We have the iPad Pro 11 inch. So I have the iPad Pro 11 inch with the smart keypad or smart keyboard, magic keyboard, that's what it's called. So iPad Pro 11 inch, why do I have the 11 inch over the 13 inch? I prefer having, oh goodness, look at this, some dirt on the iPad. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, but I take this everywhere with me to be honest. So the iPad is generally my go everywhere device. So if there's situations where I don't want to bring a, a laptop with me, I will take the iPad. The Magic Keyboard does add a little bit of heft. That is the one thing, like it is quite heavy. Whereas if it's actually out of here, it's actually quite light without the, the Magic Keyboard. Um, and it is a really expensive addition, but to be honest, iPad Pro 11 inch with Magic Keyboard, highly, highly recommend. Um, you may be thinking, why does the Google guy not have a Chromebook? Well, luckily, uh, Google offer us a choice, um, and I definitely wanted to choose a MacBook, personal preference. I could have also had like a Windows laptop or a Linux laptop or whatever, but I chose to get a MacBook. This is actually my work laptop. So this is the 29 16-inch MacBook Pro. Um, so this is the one which has the Intel i9 processor. I would not buy this laptop now if you were to buy a new laptop. I'll post a link down below to one of the new M1 Pro MacBooks. The personal MacBook that I have, obviously this is my work going to like the Google office and commuting bag, so I don't take my personal laptop with me. I take this MacBook Pro which work with me which is due for a refresh soon. But my personal laptop is the MacBook Pro 14 inch M1 Pro, two terabytes, 32 gig RAM, uh, M1 Pro version, so an in 14 inches in space gray. So that's the that's the personal laptop, which I love, it's great, superb. Um, it's actually recording the sound for this video right now, so it's in use, um, but this laptop is the work laptop. 16 inch, yeah, it's kind of heavy. I know the new 16 inch is bigger. Um, it is handy to have it, but when you are commuting with it all the time, it is a bit heavy. Um, but the iPad is also super handy because if I'm in a place where I'm working and for some reason I don't have a monitor, in the office I have monitors with me like pretty much all the time at my desk. But if I do go to a place that doesn't have it, then I can use Sidecar on the iPad as like a second screen. So that's really handy. Cool, a few more different things that I have in the bag. Ah oh, yes, so in the top of the bag here, we have what I call like my uh, emergency uh, emergency stuff. So it's not necessarily emergencies, but it's just like useful essentials, maybe we'll call it. So in here, what have we got in here? So we have, okay, <laughs> a half eaten pack of Starbursts. Uh, so I'm sure you can get Starbursts anywhere online. What else do we have? Oh yeah, we have some, we have a Graze Bar. So what's this? Cocoa Vanilla Protein Graze Bar. 
which is just great to like snack on and just eat. So you can see what I mean about like the emergency stuff. Maybe I'm stuck somewhere, or somewhere where like I'm delayed and I've got at least a Gray's protein bar. We have a, another loose uh, Starburst. Oh yeah, okay. Always handy to have some like perfume um, wherever I'm going, just in case I like need to freshen up. Maybe if I'm going for dinner or for drinks or something. So I have one of these with me, which is super handy. And I can't remember what this is called. I have absolutely no idea, but you can kind of see that it's like been rubbing against uh, the like inside of my bag. So it's very, very, uh, very good stuff. I actually need to get a new one of these soon. But yeah, good aftershave, perfume, whatever you want to call it. Um, and just really nice to freshen up with. Uh, so I'll drop a link to that. And we also have some body spray. Um, which I keep with me. Actually, the offices do have body spray in the bathrooms, which is actually a really nice addition. But I have this with me just in case I'm not in the office or want to freshen up. So we have this, um, and I think it's from Audi, so <laughs> it's not super special, but it's from Audi, gets the job done. And we have, <laughs> of all things, a spanner. Um, I recently started cycling. So it's handy to have a spanner. I'm probably gonna invest in one of those multi-tool spanners. In fact, I've actually, I have actually ordered one. Um, so that is on the way. So I'll link down the multi-tool spanner that I've ordered. Otherwise, a spanner that I'm sure you can get from uh, any good hardware store. And there is a pocket in the back. So I always found this pocket kind of like a bit pointless because this is just a pocket here. And if you have basically anything more than like anything slim, then it's kind of annoying. So what do I have in here? Oh, I have a 10 pound note. So that's quite handy, that's slim. Um, I have that and I also have, oh yeah. I don't know if this is like my favorite purchase ever because a friend of mine, Will, has one of these and uh, when he showed it to me once, it didn't work like that well. But uh, I have this for a situation in which I've maybe taken out a cable and I haven't put it back in my bag. So it's basically like, this small, really kind of compact disc, which has like a USB-C to C cable. Uh, I think this is USB-C to lightning and then USB-C to micro USB and then also USB-C to USB to USB A. It also has like SIM slots in case I want to store like SIM cards. I don't know why I'd want to do that, but maybe micro SD cards it will fit as well. It doesn't fit micro SD cards. <laughs> it only fits SIM cards. Uh, and it also has a SIM ejector tool, which is, to be fair, actually quite handy. I don't think I've ever actually used this. Um, I actually forgot it was in the bag, but there, nevertheless, it's still handy to have, um, and just in case I take a cable out, I'll forget. So, the actual bag itself, well, unfortunately, you can't actually buy this, or you may be able to, but uh, I don't actually know where you'd be able to get it from because Google gave this to me. Um, but yeah, so, Nice front pocket at the front, which is super useful um, to store things in the front. What I also quite like is from the actual bag, like if you actually look here, the zips are like tucked under this like rim of the bag. So that's actually like quite nice. Um, so it's a little bit more like secure. I know there's some really expensive like peak design bags that have some fancy openings, but just really simple how it's kind of like just tucked behind the bag. Um, we've seen this kind of like back zip pocket, so obviously this is, well, as secure as the fact that if the bag's on my back, then no one's getting in there. Some other like grab thing here, uh, I guess because there's no, oh yeah, there is a handle at the top, so I can carry it like this if I want to, um, or just on one arm or two arms. And then inside, we've seen this a little bit already. What I quite like is it has these Velcro things, so you can open the bag all the way like this, or if you have the Velcro done up, then you can kind of open the bag like this and store things a little bit more like this and then it will make sure that it will protect so that things don't fall out the sides. And we've got an inner zip pocket here, a little kind of bit in here where you can put more things. Um, a little bit here, a little bit here. Here's where I had the Kindle and then the kind of laptop bag here. This bag is, I would say like pretty good. I like it a lot, um, but it's not very good if I'm going somewhere or like uh, to stay overnight or something like that because all of the stuff that you see here is like basically filled out this bag. Like I could barely get anything more in the bag. Um, it has one other useful feature. So you see kind of this random cable. This is not actually my cable. Um, it's actually a cable that's built into the bag 
So, if we see here, it has this like USB-A on the end here, and then on the side, it has another USB-A. So actually, what this is quite good at is, if you imagine this is all inside, then on here, it just has this little USB-A port, so I could put my power bank on the inside of my bag, connect that to that USB-A cable inside, and then have another cable here to then be able to like charge my phone without like going into my bag. So this is really useful because I then can use this USB-A port here, connect the cable, and then connect that to my phone if it needs charging or whatever, and then I don't need to open up my bag, I don't need to tip everything out, um, and also it's just a little bit more secure. So that is everything I take with me in my backpack whenever I'm commuting into the Google office. I need to upgrade this MacBook Pro soon, so let me know in the comments below whether you think I should get the 14 or 16 inch MacBook Pro for my work laptop. I'm thinking 14 to match the personal one so it will fit in the bag a little bit better, but let me know in the comments below. If you like this video too, definitely give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you in the very next video. Thanks for watching, cheers, bye bye.